great example of where you were starting to get computers into the office. You would generally have in front of you what they slightly call an unfairly a dumb terminal. <laughs> They're actually quite smart in their day, actually. Almost certainly, I meant to look at the yeah, 232 connection, so that would be connected back into here. On these units, there were one, at least two, if not three cabinets for I.O. connections, so they would have gone to terminals, printers, disk drives, or magnetic tape. So a lot of your cabinet was there. Your processor was actually really quite small. <laughs> Tiny. Okay, <laughs> running at a stunning 20, 20, 25 meg uh, with 8 meg of local memory and anything up to 7 gig of external data on top of that. A um, number of interesting things were happening about this time. Virtualization has started to emerge, and those in the industry today will realize how useful virtualization is where I can just turn up another server. I can go on to a web service and correct myself number of services. But that's relatively new in these days. But what the impact was that meant that my sales department could have their own environment and run their own software. My operations department could have their own yeah. and the whole lot. So you could end up with independent organisations yes. or organisations running independent. So if my bit of software crashed, I didn't take everyone else down. Really a big step forward mm -hmm. that allowed you to actually you know, deliver the service mm -hmm. to your organisation in a much better and much more wholesome way. Um, this machine uh, was replaced in the year 2000 because <laughs> uh, 2000. Um, the history tarmac uh, had this the tarmac of the, the road lane corporation they're up in Bedfordshire quite close to us um, they started with a 1966 updated to a 2966 and as was in those days they just took the old code moved it across into mm. the new machine and to be honest you can understand saving money they just said we just port it across Come the year 2000, it was just too much and too difficult. So they actually took this whole lot out, put it into their car park, put it into the yard to one side, and we're guessing they replaced it with something like that behind you, sir, um, which is really quite a, a step forward. Um, they left it in the car park for about six months under a tarpaulin, <laughs> and then phoned us up and said, would we be interested? I don't think they finished the sentence by the time one of our guys was in the car and across there. Um, slightly unfortunately, a few of the drives have actually got damaged by the elements, but you know, that's one of those things. I think it's just lovely to have a great example of you know, big iron mainframes. So when was, was this produced? How long roughly would they have had this it? Would have been, they would have started in about 1970, 1980, run to about late 1900, oh, 1990 would have been about where it is and start to get replaced for that in about 1980. But, so Tomac might have got 20 years or more out of it. They would have, they're not bad. I mean, as far as we can work out, they probably paid about £3 million for it. Wow. Mm. It would have been in an air-conditioned building, which yeah. you'd need, which is why we'll never run this, because we just can't create that sort of environment. Um, it would have used about 64 kilowatts of energy. <laughs> now, we think that's, that's probably an overcall, because I think by the time you start all these up, the spike of energy needed. Mm. So I, my guess is running current would have been quite a bit less than that. But you would have needed a good lump of energy to run it. And then, of course, the air conditioning to go with the whole lot, the whole lot. Yeah. So these, you know, again, as of its time, it would have been a big investment. You would have needed to get your money back onto that one. What about running for an operating system? Um, this would probably have run their own operating system. VME and the like didn't turn up until a little later and pointed to that machine because mm -hmm. that's an Intel-based VME.